Hey everyone, welcome back to more Warhammer Underworlds. I'm Disturbing Puppet. So today is the day where we're taking out the orcs. So we're going to go with Iron Skull's boys here. We are taking the basic starter. I did make a few adjustments to some of the cards, uh, some of the gambits, and some of the ways to score victory points. Nothing too major. I think I changed out like three or four cards. That was about it. So we're going to give them a run and see how they do. So let's go ahead and set up a fight. I think we'll go against the Briar Queen. Uh, potentially that plays into the orc strengths because orcs want to kill stuff. There's lots of enemies on the Briar Queen. So theoretically, this might actually not be that great of a matchup for the Briar Queen. But I've had really good success with the Briar Queen. So I feel like she might put up a good fight. Alright, so. You have the Reliquary. Uh, I think I've got four guys. So this is actually not awful. I think, yeah, I'll just go Mirrorwell. It's fine. Um, yeah. I like kind of a nice square battlefield to fight on. Objectives I do have to be a little concerned about. I do want to grab as many of the objective points as I can. Something, playing as the Skaven uh, not too long back was very difficult to get victory points. Let's see, you have a lot of guys clustered here, so let's just make this a giant mess with some lethal hexes, some traps. They're not lethal, they should just say trap. I don't know why it says lethal hex, it's a trap. Anyway, what do we got? Uh, objective two, objective five, and three or more fighters taken out of action in the preceding action phase. That seems difficult. A lot of factions only have three or four guys. So against this faction, this is good, but against a lot of other factions, this would actually be a very bad card to have. Uh, anyway, objective two and five, where are two and five? Five's here, two's back there. That's not too awful. Uh, five, we could definitely grab. Two, we'll have to go for. So it's not the worst starting hand, and I think we could probably kill three people. Well, ghosts. All right, what do we have? Upgrades. Fighters attack actions the range one or two have plus one damage in a phase in which they make a charge. That's uh, not great. Um, this is one of those ones I looked at at the deck and was kind of like, eh, I'll leave it in for now. Uh, last lunge, play this during attack action or ploy. That will take a friendly fighter out of action. Before removing them from battlefield, roll attack die on a hit or crit. Make an attack with the fighter. Must target attacker. So it's a last attempt to do some damage before dying. We've got some healing. Pushing somebody around a little bit. Extra damage, first attack action with a range of one or two. Uh, yeah, that's all fine, I think. I got no successes. Not a great start. So yeah, I do want to grab that objective back there. We want to grab this one. So we want to suffer damage to get stronger. I don't think we get tougher. Yeah, 315. So there's no difference for Gerzag, but it does make a difference. The damage does increase on these uh, basic guys. The basic bitch-ass orcs get a little bit better. Uh, yeah, let's put... Basha, you can come down here. You're just going to grab the objective here for me to start with, I think. Then we'll try to do some charges. You actually put the Briar Queen, well, uh, let's say out in the open, but there's a lot of traps around her, so that's not super ideal. She does do a decent chunk of damage. Um, we could try to kill her for sure. Kind of want to go for the objective. We're not super fast, so that's another thing to think about, too. Uh, I'm going to be brave with my warband leader here, which probably I shouldn't be. But I will give him some support. Even though there's traps all over the place, it's a giant mess. Hacka. Go over there. So many of them. So many ghosty ghosts. Okay, I would definitely like to go first, I think. Two, five. Three or more fighters taken out of action in the preceding action phase. That could even be my guys. It doesn't have to be enemy fighters. It's just fighters, period. So three or more people die 
we're in good shape. Uh, best case scenario, I'm going to kill three. It's unlikely. So, I'm going to go first. I can reach multiple targets. We do three damage, two dice. A charge is a bit nuts because then we're just kind of standing around getting beat on by everybody else. Uh, I don't really want to be next to the Briar Queen, but she does have a range of two. We could try to go for the Everhang to kill him off. Where's Vaklev? I actually know these enemies. We, we kind of want to get back here. I played the Briar Queen quite a bit, so I, I know Vaklev has an ability that moves a lot of these uh, ghosty guys around. I think... I'm going to go here, and we're going to try to take out the Everhanged. We can just one-shot, take him out. That would be great. I get no successes. He gets no blocks. A mighty whiff. Unfortunate. Uh, I don't know what that was. What was that? Treacherous Foe. Score this immediately if your warband makes a reaction. Okay. What did you do as a reaction? Maddening Cackle. Fighter is no longer inspired and can't be inspired. Ooh, that's not nice. That is really bad on my leader. Well, we could shove somebody around. I could do that to save an action back here, but I think I'm going to have plenty just to push on to the objective. Uh, I think we're just going to shove you a little closer. Because we are a little slow. What was that one? Destiny to beat. This fighter is not out of action at the end of the third action phase, gain an additional glory point. Well, that's not nice. So we kind of need to kill the Briar Queen then, which, I mean, she is the most dangerous of the various different characters out there. We're going to pass, because it's going to be the opponent's turn here in a sec. Okay, going for a whip there, and it's going to fail. Got a crit on the defense. You know what I should have done, because I'm an idiot, I should have played that movement on my leader and moved him on to the objective. That is what I should have done. But I am a fool. Extra damage. Uh, I think most of my guys, well, some of my guys only do a couple points, like one or two points of damage. So we want to go for their leader especially. Yeah, we'll get extra damage here in the next activation. So, like, you do one, so it would be two. You do two, so it would be three. I mean, if I can get you in here, let's go ahead and just go for it. See if we can get a one-shot kill. Try it again. Alright. Two hits. One avoid. Goodbye. Vengeful curse. So he did some damage to me as he died. Which does improve my guy, so that's kind of fine. Uh, what do we have? If we charge, we do more damage. Um, I mean, that's okay. Let's go ahead and do that on my leader. And I kind of want to hold off. I mean, we could heal this guy. I don't know if we heal if I lose the Inspired status. Could get killed. Let me hold off on the healing push. Not sure which one she's going for. One hit, one block. I think she's going for my leader, yeah. Oh, you pushed me back onto the objective. Nice. Thank you. I appreciate it. Alright, uh, yeah, we could do a heal now. 
I think again I will go ahead and hold off. So I have at least two activations. One of them we want to use to get on to this. You unfortunately only do one damage, and pushing these guys onto traps doesn't do anything because they're spectral, so eh. Um they're ghosts, they don't get affected by floor traps. So we could make like a crappy attack somewhere. Or let's just lock down the victory points. And see what the enemy does. Going for a hit. I got a crit on a block. Good, 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 good. My boss is doing a uh, very good job. The war boss is fighting everybody off back there. I will hold off on the heal. If he takes damage, we'll probably heal him up. Alright, last activation. The only one I can really do anything with is here. We do want to start whittling down the Briar Queen. So I suppose... Which tile are you in? You're in that one, okay. I feel like it's a bit risky because of all the traps around, but we'll start trying to do some damage to the Briar Queen. Okay, one done. Do I want to move you? No, I think we'll leave you where you're at. So then I can just kind of pound on them on my turn without having to do charge attacks. Again, the heal comes up, which I'm going to skip. So now I'm assuming the Briar Queen. Getting really lucky with my defensive rolls here. She's just throwing that whip all over the place and it's just not landing anywhere. Very, very nice. Very nice. Kind of zoom in and get a, a nicer look. Unfortunately, you can't rotate the camera in this. Pass. We get a couple objectives. Three more fighters taken out. I only took out, what, one there? Yeah, it's still possible. We'll hold on to it. This includes, like, if one of my guys goes down and I kill two of them, that's still three. Uh, let's see. Last lunge I like. Healing potion I like. We'll hold on to those. Draw up to see what my cards are before I decide what I'm going to do here. If I get a chance to decide before the enemy action... Do you want to kill the Briar Queen? That is true. Okay, it's up to the Briar Queen if she wants to go first or not. Double hit. I do block, but it's not enough. Three damage. Pretty rough, actually. Trying to healing potion even though you're not hurt. Which is a little weird, but okay. Uh, I will also go ahead and healing potion. Thanks. Gerzag. Heal something. Like one point there. Put somebody on guard. What do we have? Brutal swing. Targets all adjacent enemy fighters. Roll for each. It's bone cutter. Which one's bone cutter? All adjacent enemies, right? Yeah. Uh, we could also go extra damage. Let's go extra damage. I'll put that on my leader, even though he is hurt and potentially in danger. He might just get sniped and killed, and we'll go ahead and give a Bone Cutter the upgrade as well. Maybe we charge bone cut it in there and try to smack multiple guys around but it's not a ton of damage so bone cut uh, that one only does two yeah there's nowhere I can go where doing two is gonna kill multiple we could do a couple to Varklov and also maybe kill a chain rasp that's probably best case scenario wait did you heal the Briar Queen healed that's not fair what do we get for uh, victory points all enemy fighters out 
Uh, possible. The warband took out an enemy leader, which we want to do anyway. Three or more fighters died. Yeah, I mean, we, we definitely want to kill the enemy leader. We could try to make a play on the Briar Queen. You, again, only do one damage. You can do three, potentially. Gerzag can also do three. Actually, it would be four. What's this? Can't be inspired, and the extra damage. Yeah, so especially if we charge, it's extra damage. So we could try to make a play on either Varklov or the Briar Queen. Briar Queen's surrounded. She's also going to give extra victory points. So I think we go after her, even though it is a charge. Come on. Let's uh, start over there. I would like you to go there. There we go. Try to kill the Briar Queen, please. We've got her surrounded. Two hits. Ah, she rolled a crit to block, though, so it doesn't matter. No powers to play. Okay, one hit to one block, so no damage there. Throwing that whip around. Did knock my guy back. Disappointing. How much damage can you output? Potentially three. Are way in the back. I can't reach anything with you. Yeah, I really need to take her out. Wait, does this have... Oh, that's two dice, not two range. Yeah, I mean, I could try to come down here, kill one Rasp and hurt Varklov, or we keep going for the Briar Queen. I think we just keep going for the Briar Queen. Ah, she keep rolling more crits on those blocks. It's a lot of chance involved in uh, successes or not. So I can't kill you this round, that's for sure. Oh, she got a crit on the attack, so that's going to land. So that's just a dead orc. Yes, we will play last lunge. Alright, we get a free attack off before I die. We're going to go with the three damage. Okay, one to one. I think that's nothing then. It's a push. Uh, I'd rather leave her there where we can kind of have her ganged up. Very disappointing. Everything's just starting to go wrong. We've got so many attacks on uh, the Briar Queen that just failed. I was really hoping that last lunge would come through for me and get me, you know, some damage or something. Right. You still have... This might be the last activation. So we might want to just get you moving up here to try to help out. Or we could take a couple swings, but I think you only do one damage, right? Yeah, you only do one damage. Let's just move. Things are not looking great here for the orcs. Okay, one hit, one block. Yeah, she's just trying to use the 
the Briar Queen to just absolutely wreck my orcs, which is working because I can't kill the Briar Queen. So he moved, so yeah, all I can do is put you in guard. Uh, we will try to make a hit. Get a hit when it's only one damage. Yeah, I'll just leave you where you're at as well. Hoping I can get an activation first in the next round and then I can kill the Briar Queen with my leader. That's kind of my only real hope. Briar Queen has now pulled ahead. So theoretically, in the third turn, is there anything we'll have? No. We have to kill everybody. That's unlikely to happen the way this is going. I would have to say. Um, so let's ditch that one, even though it is worth a lot of victory points. We're trying to kill the leader. Three or more fighters could still trigger, depending on what happens, because it can include my guys dying, so we'll hold on to that. Upgrades, we could discard this. What is this? Attack action mid by your leader takes an enemy fighter out of action. Another friendly fighter does not already made a move or charge, can make a move or charge. We'll hold on to it. Theoretically, my leader will kill their leader. That would be ideal. But I really need the first activation. I will get it. All right, let me look and see what we got here. Uh, score immediately if friendly fighter suffers three or more damage in a single attack and is not taken out of action. Um, enemy leader, three or more die. We have upgrades, unkillable. That would be really nice to get. Fighter suffers damage, reduce that damage by one to a minimum of one. Could have gotten all these earlier. Would have been a, a lot nicer. Cleave, extra health. All right. I need you, Gerzag. I need you to kill their leader. It is super important. Okay, a crit on either side, I think. So it was a crit and a success, and then a crit defense and success, so nothing. I will leave you there. That was really important. I really needed that to get a victory. Didn't get it. This one die on attacks. I'm gonna try to stop somebody from being inspired. Well, we're kind of screwed. That's going to be a hit. Three damage. Oh, played a trap to kill me off. Not nice. I survived the initial three, so I don't know if my thing would trigger. I would think it would. Yeah, it didn't, though. Too dumb to die. It took the card to kill him off, so I feel like that should have triggered anyway. Well, I think we just keep wailing on the Briar Queen here. There's really not much else I can do that's going to matter. Kill, please. Jeez, just rolling like crit after crit after crit for defenses. Yeah, I need that to land and get me a kill, otherwise I'm just doomed. A crit successful attack. Was that my leader with her? Yeah, he's dead. Ah, uh, this is going to be a slaughter. It was going so well. It just, uh, the dice were not my friends in this at all. I needed to kill that Briar Queen. If I killed the Briar Queen, we would have mopped up pretty well. You can only do, like, one point of damage, which is pretty bad. So maybe we just try to prioritize weaker targets, I guess. But you're going to get tons more XP here, and victory points, I mean. 
Um, the Briar Queen just going to keep racking up victory points after victory points after victory points. This is the third round. Yeah, we're totally doomed here. I can't kill anybody, because I can't do enough damage. The only ploy I have required my leader to get a kill. Yeah, I mean, even if I could kill one person, that would count. My two guys died, another third would get me some victory points. Um, but I can't do enough damage. So it honestly doesn't even matter what I do, I still lose. So just out of sheer obstinacy, I'm just going to keep attacking the Briar Queen. Failure. The Orc failure is complete. The Briar Queen just absolutely wrecked. It started off well. I mean, like, well, got an okay block there, but um, things were looking fairly positive early on. Got an extra attack. Okay, I'm inspired. That should trigger that for at least one victory point. Not that it matters. Okay, well. You only have one health, so reducing it to one damage doesn't matter. Let's give you extra health, I guess. And then on my activation, I can't do anything because I charged. So all I can do is like maybe change out uh, hand. Three more fighters been charged. Can't do that. Took enemy leader out. Three more fighters taken out of action. Not gonna happen. Well, I mean, you might kill. If you kill him, then I'll get two victory points. Woo! So that puts you at eight and me at six. How exciting! Um, I could redraw, and maybe I could get something that would give me, like, three if there's no enemies on my side of the map. So I will give that a try. I thought it was discard all of them. Maybe it's just discard one. Can't do that. Yeah. Didn't matter, we just got something for objective one. Oh well. And now the Briar Queen's gonna kill my last guy. Yep. Now the Briar Queen just absolutely wrecking me. She killed everybody, I think. Complete slaughter. So theoretically, I should still get those victory points. Yeah, so I do get those. So that gets me to six. That was rough. Wow, okay. I kind of thought this would be slightly... Oh, and you got even more. Slightly too easy because the Briar Queen has so many weak enemies. But I just could not um, take out the Briar Queen. And I, I needed to do that for the victory points. If I'd been able to do that, I think we would have been able to just carry on and just slaughtered the uh, Briar Queen after that. But pretty rough. Yeah, I feel like if I can't get at least 6 to 8 victory points, even on a loss. I'm doing pretty bad. But a lot of it comes down to, like, what... There's so much randomness in this game. There's randomness of the cards for victory points, and then there's the randomness of the dice. So you're dealing with a lot of random factors to see what you can do. Yeah, we'll probably give the uh, Iron Skull boys another try, but uh, this was not a promising start, although that battle did begin fairly okay. Alright, this has been more Warhammer Underworlds. I've been Disturbing Puppet. Thanks for coming by. Hopefully I'll see you next time. Until then, have a good one.